Controversy over a proposed smoking ban on the 16th Street Mall has reignited the debate over Denver's treatment of the homeless at a city council meet committee meeting on Wednesday. If approved, individuals caught smoking or vaping within 50 feet of the mall could be fined up to $100. David, some folks are posing this as an attack on the homeless, uh, some as a health issue. How do you see it? I think it is malicious, mean-spirited, and intolerant. There were, when anti-smoking got going as a movement, there were some constructive things it did, like on airplanes where even have segregating them at the back, it's still one air circulation system, so sort of everybody's breathing smoke a lot, and especially the people who were, you know, stewardesses, for example, constant exposure. This is a million miles removed from that. This is about a bunch of prigs who are so offended by the idea of somebody with a G. P R I G S. Just want to clarify. Prig good. <laughs> <laughs> you, you could. Sp there's other spellings too that would, that would, that would work, but we won't go Let's there. Stay with prig. That's fine. Um, and. They smell some smoke, and they're like, oh, I'm, so, I'm injured, oh, take me to the hospital, secondhand smoke, which is just a bunch of uh, narcissistic uh, hypochondria, uh, that they think this is some danger uh, of, of, of transient exposure of a, a few seconds, uh, or, or a minute, or whatever. And to show how this has nothing at all to do with health, it's, they also want to ban vaping, which has no health impact for anyone else in the area. At, it's beneficial for people, it's very beneficial for people who are giving up conventional cigarettes and moving to vaping. It's far better for their health and there is no secondhand smoke issue at all. And as for the, the homeless, uh, homeless people, many of them are mentally ill. It is well documented that nicotine helps with certain mental illnesses, including schizophrenia. So you're, you're actually taking away the ability of people who are in a rough situation uh, to self-medicate to some degree. Well, Eric, again, you have to follow a very uh, milquetoast opinion from, from uh, David. But where do you stand on this? And what should a city like Denver, how should a city like Denver be approaching this? The 16th Street Mall has been rife with issues, good and bad. It's a central part of our downtown, but it's had a lot of different problems. How do you react to this idea? Tough issue. I hope not to be a prig here with a G. <laughs> uh, I'll acknowledge what the powers that be are unable to acknowledge. I don't think this is fundamentally about smoking or secondhand smoke. If it was, and then it's, you know, that battle has been fought, it's been largely won by the anti tobacco advocates. I wouldn't wholly, wholly disagree with David, maybe in part. This is about the 16th Street Mall. And I will defend that the city and the citizens of Denver and the taxpayers of Denver and the people who are the economic engine of Denver have a right and almost a duty to be concerned about that mall. It is the goose that lays the golden, the golden egg. A city needs a vibrant, attractive, welcoming, hospitable urban core, urban center. The mall has become anything but that. I have to believe that this is part, one small part, of a strategy to clean up the mall. To go, you're not gonna drive the homeless traffic out of downtown, but you know, it's 50 feet. You can go 50 feet. Um, if somebody needs their nicotine fix because of schizophrenia or whatever, to David's point, you're not taking that option away from them. You're just saying, get off the mall. I don't know if it's gonna be effective, but um, something has to change on the mall, and if this is one part, if it's the total strategy, then it's lost. But if it is one part of a multi-part strategy, I'm okay with it. Penn, if uh, City Council President Elvis Brooks was the one who proposed this, if he called you up for advice, pursue it, change it, drop it, what's your advice? Uh, I'd say drop it. I'd say that I agree with you wholeheartedly because I agree with Eric. I think this goes to his point, and, and I've talked about this before. The 16th Street Mall has fallen into disrepair, and it's got problems. I think the city's made some right steps, correct steps, by increasing the law enforcement security presence. That's helped. You know, they and, and it needs sort of a, a beautification push. You know, more lighting, better lighting, some landscaping, some plants. Um, and some other things, there needs to be a concerted plan put in place 
to reinvigorate the mall. I like when they have stopped the shuttles from running in the summer when they did, I think, one day a month, and they have vendors, more vendors on the street and food vendors. That was a good idea. It got you out of your office building. You go to the mall and buy something from, from a troop food truck. But this banning smoking or trying to fix the mall with the pretext of banning smoking is problematic. And one other thing, when I first heard this and I saw they included vaping, my thought was, is city council still trying to push back over the legalization of marijuana? Is that what this is about? And I couldn't understand if that's really, as a city council, how you feel. Why did you allow dispensaries to open up on the 16th Street Mall? Why didn't you just say you can put dispensaries in other places but not near schools and not on the 16th Street Mall? I, I don't understand. There's a disconnect that doesn't make sense to me. Patty, uh, we talked about the mall a lot on this show. Is this the, the right idea to try to beautify the 16th Street Mall? No, if you want to beautify the 16th Street Mall, you ban ugly people. And then you hire pretty people to walk up and down the mall. You ban the really bad souvenir stores, which would, and bring in nice stores that are full of local goods. I mean, there are a lot of things I'd like to see on the mall, and I think the bigger problems. The problem is not the smoking. And let's also remember, this is a number one tourist attraction. Yes, they want to see pretty people, they want to see nice stores, but some of them want to smoke. They can't smoke in their hotel room. Where, they're, where are they supposed to be smoking? This is not just affecting the homeless, it's affecting visitors to Denver. It just seems the wrong prudy pants, priggish move uh, right now. And the homeless, yeah, I don't think it's just set up to get the homeless because it's gonna take down a lot of other people too.